Hello everyone, Matt Weaver here. Okay, let's get to it. So we are of course in some very interesting times, but what I wanna highlight to all of us, which of course affects our business, is the Federal Reserve's announcement yesterday, which they simply stood by the policy and the philosophy of not moving interest rates up in the foreseeable future. All right, what does that mean to us? That means that borrowing costs are gonna remain low, despite who's president. Uh, so I think we're gonna see low interest rates and a low interest rate environment for at least the next two quarters at a minimum. All right, how does that affect us as productive real estate agents? Well, I can tell you that for certain, the balance of 2020 and more than likely quarter one of 2021, we are gonna remain in a heavy, heavy multiple offer environment. No questions asked. I, I would, I'm not a betting man, but I'd bet the farm on it, <laughs> okay? All right, there are three risks to you as an agent being in a heavy multiple offer situation to your buyers. And what are those three risks? You see, if the buyer's offer isn't accepted, here are the three risks that you have as an agent. Risk number one, your time. Let's think about this. It takes a lot of time to, of course, show property. So you go out, you show the property that they love, they fall in love with it, they submit an offer, and the offer's not accepted. You gotta now try and show more property, and there may not be the inventory to show them that inventory might come up two, three, four, five weeks from now. And it's all of that time, which I think we can agree, you as productive salespeople, time is all we have. Risk number two, the buyer change of heart. Think about that. They get discouraged. They make an offer on one home. They make an offer on a second home and they don't get accepted. They might say, you know, what the heck with this? I'm gonna go ahead and remain renting and renew my lease or I may not wanna sell my home. Maybe now's not the time. So that's a big risk, change of heart. And risk number three that I have here, changing of real estate agents and mortgage lender. They think that maybe if I change the agent and the lender, it'll give me a better chance and a better probability losing the sale altogether. All right, so in knowing that interest rates are gonna remain low, in knowing that we're gonna be in this heavy competitive multiple offer environment, what did I do on the back end? All right, I'm proud to say that I just took on some new underwriting support and I just took on some new processor support. Why am I sharing this? I'm sharing this because I'm going to maintain for you all 724, which is the seven day loan commitment, 24 day closing or less that was designed in 2010 and has been proven to compete and win well over 90% of the time in a multiple offer situation. Think about it. You're a listing agent. You're representing a seller. You get three offers on the home. Everyone's willing to pay the same price. Offer A has a 30 day loan approval, loan commitment. Offer B gets a little bit more aggressive and has a 21 day loan approval. And our offer has seven days. Who are you going with? Not to mention our brand credibility and our strength. I call every single agent during the offer process to validate the buyer's credentials. So I want you to think about 724 and we need to work together on every single offer submitted because we cannot let these three risks enter into our business cycle. If you know where to reach me, if you have any questions, 561-212-6503. Thank you all and together in success.